Welcome to my YouTube page. In this video, we will walk through a Python program. In the beginning, I will give you an overview of what I plan to cover, then I will switch over to Python Idle Editor, walk you through the script, and then run the program in Python Shell. At the end, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now let's begin. Python uses lists, which are more general data structures that can be used to represent arrays. With an array, multiple values can be stored and each is referenced with the name of the array and specifying an index value. The individual values of an array are known as elements. A list in Python is simply an ordered collection of items, each of which can be of any type. A list is a dynamic mutable data structure and this means that items can be added to and deleted from it. The list data structure is the most common data sequence in Python. A sequence is a set of values identified by integer indices. An individual item in the list can be referenced by using an index, which is an integer number that indicates the relative position of the item in the list. List of lists are also known as nested lists. This means that a list can contain other lists. Multidimensional arrays can be defined with nested lists. To create a list of lists in Python, you can use the square brackets to store all the inner lists. For instance, if you have three lists and you want to create a list of lists, you can assign a new list equal to the lists enclosed in brackets separated by a comma. A list of lists is essentially combining multiple lists into one. This can be achieved using multiple methods such as using the plus operand, the append function, the multiplication operand, the chain function within the iter tools module, the list comprehension technique, the extend function, or a for loop. Now, let's open up the Python idle editor and develop a script that will perform a list of lists using the various available methods to combine lists. First, start out by putting identification information for the Python file enclosed by three quotations. For the program file name, let's title it list of lists.py. Then the author information, and for that, I'll put my name Lewis. Next the date, which is September 13, 2022, and lastly I'll put a short description of the program, create a list of lists using the plus operand, the append function, the multiplication operator, the chain function within the iter tools module, the list comprehension technique, the extend function, and a for loop. First, let's start out by importing the iter tools module as we will need it later for the iter tools chain method. Type import iter tools and press enter. Now, let's define our lists. For this program, I want to use four different lists. Type girls equals open bracket apostrophe Connie apostrophe comma apostrophe Michelle apostrophe comma apostrophe Danielle apostrophe close brackets and press enter. For the second list type boys equals open bracket apostrophe David apostrophe comma apostrophe Jacob apostrophe comma apostrophe Adam apostrophe close brackets and press enter. For the third list type fruits equals open bracket apostrophe apple apostrophe comma apostrophe orange apostrophe comma apostrophe kiwi apostrophe close brackets and press enter. For the fourth list type vegetables equals open bracket apostrophe celery apostrophe comma apostrophe broccoli apostrophe comma apostrophe corn apostrophe close brackets and press enter. Prior to implementing the seven methods, let's print each initial list. Type print open parenthesis f quotation the initial lists are colon backslash n open curly bracket girls close curly brackets backslash n open curly bracket boys close curly brackets backslash n open curly bracket fruits close curly brackets backslash n open curly bracket vegetables close curly brackets close the quotation close the parenthesis and press enter. The F preceding the input statement means formatted string literals and it is a way to format your string that is more readable and fast. The list titles embedded in curly brackets will pull in the list values that were input above. The backslash N will create a new line for each list. The print function prints the specified message to the screen or other standard output device. The message can be a string or any other object. The object will be converted into a string before being written to the screen. 
I want to input a blank space between each method, therefore, type print, open and close parenthesis, then press enter. For the first method, let's use the addition operand. Type list 1 equals girls, plus boys then press enter. Next, let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using plus operator, colon, quotation, comma, list 1, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. For the second method, let's use the append function. The append function appends an element to the end of the list. Type list 2 equals open and close bracket, then press enter. Next type, list2.append, open parenthesis, girls, close parenthesis and press enter. Now type list2.append, open parenthesis boys, close parenthesis and press enter. Next, let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using append, colon, quotation, comma, list2, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. Next the third method, let's use the chain function in the iter tools module. If you recall earlier, we imported the iter tools module. Iter tools is a module in Python, it is used to iterate over data structures that can be stepped over using a for loop. Such data structures are also known as iterables. This module incorporates functions that utilize computational resources efficiently. A function within iter tools is chain. The chain function accepts a variable number of iterables and loops through them all one by one. Type list 3 equals list, open parenthesis, iterTools.chain, open parenthesis, girls, comma boys, close the parenthesis twice as there are two preceding opening parentheses and press enter. Next, let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using iterTools, colon, quotation, comma, list 3, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. Next the fourth method, let's use a list comprehension. A Python list comprehension consists of brackets containing the expression. This is then executed for each element along with the for loop to iterate over each element in the Python list. Type list 4 equals, open bracket, y for x in open parenthesis, girls, comma boys, close the parenthesis for y and x, close brackets, and press enter. Next, Let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using list comprehension, colon, quotation, comma, list for, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. Next, the fifth method, let's use the extend function. The extend method adds the specified list elements or an iterable to the end of the current list. Type girls.extend, open parenthesis boys, close parenthesis, and press enter. Next, let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using extend, colon, quotation, comma, girls, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. Next, the sixth method, let's use the multiplication operand. Type list 5 equals open bracket, multiplication sign, fruits, comma, multiplication sign, vegetables, close brackets, and press enter. Let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using multiply operator, colon, quotation, comma, list 5, close the parenthesis and press enter. Input a blank space by typing print, open and close parenthesis then press enter. Now let's move to the last method. The seventh and last method is using a Python for loop. Type for item in vegetables, colon, and press enter. Fruits.append, open parenthesis, item, close parenthesis, and press enter. Let's print the combined list by typing print, open parenthesis, quotation, using for loop, colon, quotation, comma, fruits, close the parenthesis, and press enter. Now, let's run the module and confirm the program that performs a list of lists using the various available methods to combine lists works as expected. In the Python idle editor header, click run, then click run module. After the idle shell opens, based on the code we input, first Python prints the initial lists. Next, 
Python prints the addition operand, append, iter tools chain function, list comprehension and extend methods output Connie, Michelle, Danielle, David, Jacob, Adam. These methods, we combine the two lists of girls and boys. The multiplication operand and for loop methods, Python outputs apple, orange, kiwi, celery, broccoli, corn. These methods combine the two lists of fruits and vegetables. Thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload videos to YouTube. I'll see you next week with a new Python video. Until next time, take care.